Hey everyone, it's Steph here with Pampered Chef and I am so excited to share a demo on how our new breakfast sandwich maker works. And this can make you have the best summer ever, but I love it because we're going to be having it year round. Um, comment below if you guys eat breakfast sandwiches. So this is kind of the classic um, English muffin, egg, bacon, that sort of thing. So you can do that one. I'm going to show you another variation as I show you how it works. So it's really nice. Um, usually we have eggs in our fridge, right? If you guys hit up the drive-thru, you're waiting in line sometimes for quite a while. And this will just take you a couple of minutes at home. And then you can either take it with you um, wrapped up. You could take it with you in the container. You can see one of my tips here is when you crack your eggs to crack it on a flat surface. And that's going to make all the shells hopefully not end up in your eggs. So once you got your eggs in here, I do two because I want the calories and the protein, that's a good amount. Then you're gonna scramble them a little bit. Oh, before I did this though, um, so you got that on there. We're gonna add, got our eggs in. In this basket here, we're gonna actually add a piece of bacon, again. Um, and this will sometimes pop, but you wanna use any pre-cooked breakfast meat. So you could do um, a sausage patty, Canadian bacon, then put the lid on and in your microwave for a minute. What's so great about this is it's really easy to customize your sandwich. So I did the breakfast um, sandwich with the English muffins, but I'm making this one here for me, you guys, with this yummy um, flax, oat bran, and whole wheat pita bread. So if you wanna be really he healthy. Now um, this I picked because, you know, the first ingredient was whole grains, not much sugar, zero grams, three grams of fiber, and only 50 calories versus this English muffin here. But you guys, this English muffin, this breakfast sandwich that you make at home is probably better than whatever you get through the drive-thru because have you seen those pictures where they have the four-year-old uh, English muffin or breakfast sandwich from McDonald's or hamburger, whatever it might be, with the mystery meat in it, and then the one that they bought that day? We have no idea. They look the exact same. So I don't know what that does to us, but um, that being said, before I put my eggs in, I did use my kitchen spritzer, which I love and use all the time, but there's just oil in here and I sprayed it quickly inside. And what this does, it's going to help my um, egg to pop out quickly. Now this is ceramic and that was only a minute, so it doesn't get super hot, but in, I'll show you something that I use in a minute. Now I take out my pita and this is going to go in this basket here and what's nice um, this allows some of the heat to go through and steam and actually heat this up. And I have kind of a powerful microwave, so if you have one of those kind of dorm room type microwaves, or maybe one that's seen better days, um, you're going to have to play around with a little bit on the timing. Okay, so I got that in there and now I'm going to put it back in for 30 seconds. Set it in there. And um, I'm just kind of doing the, the regular one. I'm going to actually cut up some avocado and put it on there. I could add some salsa if I wanted to and kind of do like a, a southern California. But you can add um, for breakfast meat, you know, Canadian, Canadian bacon, breakfast sausage. You just want to make sure that it is pre-cooked. Can't do anything raw. And then the other thing you could do instead of doing just like the English muffin or the... Um, the pita. If you're doing gluten free, you could do a corn tortilla. You could do um, some people do like mini pancakes, and then you kind of have a sweet and savory. Add a little bit of syrup on there, so kind of fun that way. Um, if anyone uses those flat out buns, okay, it's a little bit warm. Um, if I was gonna do cheese on this, to you guys, I would probably do that on my eggs before it goes in for the, the second 30 seconds. But what you wanna do after it's cooked, the second 30 seconds, is let it sit in here and it kinda steams and make sure everything is nice and heated. You can top it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, and while you wait your 30 more seconds, you can sip on your cold brew that I absolutely love. And I think we are ready. So I'm gonna plate up over here, take the cover off get my pita out. You guys, this is like super pliable. You can maybe see the steam. I can at least. Get that out. I'm going to get out my little piece of bacon here. And then finally, last but not least, uh, the eggs. And you, oh yeah. So if you have sensitive hands, you guys, like I do, I'm a super big wimp. Um, these are a lifesaver. There are little microwave grips. So they fit for a bowl of soup, anything you're using the microwave for. 
and I keep them in that little drawer. Now, because I sprayed this, I can just run my fork right around here, and it should just, it fell out, but it didn't land in there. And in there, there's a little picture. It says to poke the yolk, because if you don't, those yolks will kind of be like a little bomb and um, explode. But you can see how this is, like, fully cooked. It's solid, ready to go. I am going to go get my avocado. Add that to this, uh, roll it up, and enjoy my breakfast sandwich. So, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about it, or like I said, I want to hear what kind of fun breakfast sandwich combos you can think of, but let me know. Thanks.